hey guys hope you are doing well so today we will be learning how can we create a modern login page using custom tag enter library and python so let's start so this will be our main prototype this this i had designed in figma you can also design it in your figma so let's see what elements or widgets it it has so mainly it has a main window which will be white in color then it will have a ctk image widget which will contain our image for the login page then a frame widget like this and inside this frame widget we will be have a text field for our title then we, we will be having a entry widget for our username field then again a entry widget for our password field then a create account button and then a login button so this will be our main login page containing all these elements or widgets so let's move to the programming part so i had already completed the programming part so let's understand it by line by line so first we will be importing our custom take enter library then we will be importing our pill library from the pill library we will be using image module to import our image in our custom take enter window so then our main program will start from here main main will be the name of our ctk window and here we are initializing it the next we are giving the title for our window which will be login page then we are customizing our window we will be changing the background color of our window to white then again we are configuring the window to make it non resizable so that's why i had used the false false you can also make it resizable if you want but here i will be making it non resizable defaultly so then uh, i am uh, importing our image for a background image which will be as you have seen earlier so which here i will use ctk image widget then i will use a dark image parameter and here i will use the image module of our pill library to open our image which will be this the image and the name of our image then we are giving the size of our image to 500 500 pixels and these are the widths and height of our image you can give as you want i am taking a, it has 500 and 500 only so next we will be using ctk label to load our image so our ctk label will be placed in our main window then we are giving the name of our image which is bg image as we have already given above so then next we will be providing a empty text field so that it will not show any text defaultly in our ctk label widget next we are placing our bg label or ctk label in our main window uh, using the grid geometry manager uh, on the row 0 and in column 0 then we are creating a frame Uh, as you can see till now we have completed the main window and we have imported our image and now we are here we are creating our frame so here we are using ctk frame widget then again we are placing the ctk frame in our main window then we are providing the uh, background color uh, which is something gray in color as you can see uh, then next uh, we are providing the background color of white and the height and width uh, you can also remove the height and width parameter because we are using the grid geometry manager as in geometry grid geometry manager it automatically resize as per the inside content of the frame so next we are providing the corner radius to 20 uh, as you can see we have the corner radius also so next we will be uh, importing our text label so let's see uh, this will be our title i uh, we will using ctk label to show the text uh, this will be again we will be uh, placing our ctk label in frame 1 not in our main window that's why we have create a frame so we will be placing it in frame 1 only next we are giving the text of the ctk label which is welcome back login to account and we are using a break line in between this text then we are providing the text color to black and then again we are providing the font style also uh, in this blank field you can give the font name uh, then in second parameter you can provide the size of the font and in the third you can give the boldness of the text then we are again placing our title widget in our frame 1 using the grid geometry manager row 0 column 0 and sticky in northwest direction so that it sticks to the top and northwest of the frame then we will using pad y pad x uh, pad y pad x are these spaces between the text widget 
as you can see if i we will not provide this i uh, pad x pad y then our text will stick to the starting of this frame and top of the frame so next we are providing our uh, entry widget for the username field using the ctk entry in frame one only then next we are providing text color to white and a placeholder text which will be shown in the starting so next we are providing the background color to black and the placeholder text color to white then the, again we are customizing the font as same we have done uh, in above widget and next we are providing the width of the place uh, sorry uh, ctk entry to 200 and corner radius and the height so you can customize it as per your requirements the next we are placing our ctk entry in our frame 1 using the grid geometry manager in row 1 column 0 uh, sticky to nwe uh, northwest east uh, northwest is because uh, it will be placed in uh, sticky towards the north and it will expand towards the east to west or west to east automatically so next again we are implementing our ct entry for our password field uh, this is all same as the above username entry only the text of the placeholder is changed and the placements are changed so next we are creating a create account uh, button you can create a button also but we can we can bind it to a event at the last if, if if you want or you can use a button in place of this also so here we are providing the text to create account and we are placing it in frame one again uh, the text color to black a cursor which will be hand uh, when we will take our mouse over to it and again the font size then we are placing the create account button again then we are creating a login button using the ctk button widget uh, placing it in frame one with text login and the font this uh, height and width again uh, the foreground color to uh, something blue and cursor again to hand one uh, then the corner radius then we are again placing it using the grid geometry manager in row 3 column 0 stick it towards northeast and pad air pad pad y and pad x and finally we are closing the program using the main loop function so now we will be running our code let's see what output we will get so as you can see we have finally created our modern login page using custom tagender and python you can further customize it as per your requirements now we can enter the username or the password in our field and you can provide any command to the button also to both the buttons using python so thank you guys for watching hope you like the video please don't forget to subscribe share and like the channel stay tuned for new videos or if you faced any issue while creating this you can ask in the comment section see you guys